and we are back in August. Uh, the sports complex here is so beautifully situated, very close to the sea, the forest and the Queen's Castle. Uh, you can just see the sea just up in your left corner. And the order of play, 2-1 for Thailand in the overall tie here. And the second women's doubles is coming up. Ramadanti and Sukiyato of Indonesia against Subhajira Kun and Teira Tenachai of Thailand. The Thailand pair is vastly experienced and the two Indonesians are just 20 and 21 years of age. And the first players to come on to court are uh, the two Indonesians. Siti Ramadanti, just 20 years of age, and Ripka Sukiyato is 21 years of age. They are presently number 34 on the world ranking. And Thailand is Petita Sipajirakun, the tall player coming in first, 25 years of age, and Sapsari Teratanachai. So following after is 29 years of age, a very, very experienced pair. Sarah Chanachai is uh, number three on the world ranking in mixed doubles with her partner Paul Ranakrow. So, very vastly experienced women's doubles pair from Thailand. There are no hits to hits between these two pairs. Hello, can you move this? Put it down. Move this way. Okay, thank you. Toss, black or red? Red, black for you. So Thailand is taking, taking black. Red. Red. Subsidiary will serve. Okay, Thailand won the toss. Which side? And chose the to side. serve. And Indonesia is choosing ends. Start at the traditional warm up. And the first player is Siti Ramadanti, 20 years of age. And uh, the highest ranking they have enjoyed is 32, and that's for one week, and that was in March 2020. They have won the Indonesian Masters, the Super 100 tournament. Um, that was in 2019. Ripka Sugiata is 21 years of age and won 65. And of course the same ranking applies. I can tell you that partner Ramadanti won the World Junior Championship in 2017, but that was in mixed doubles. They have played all three matches and uh, they won the first two against Germany and France but against Japan they lost to very experienced players 21-14, 21-19. The tall athlete 183, Putita Super Jirakun, is 25 years of age and also have represented Thailand on many, many occasions and uh, they are presently number 22 on the world ranking and the best ever they've been is actually number 9 where they spent one week as number 9 in June 2017. Her partner Sapsuri Tairat Hanajai is a very experienced, 29 years of age and as I mentioned earlier, number 3 on the world ranking at one stage in the mixed doubles. 
they have won all their matches in two straight games. They played all the group matches against Scotland, Spain and India. And the umpire is uh, Iris Mespalo of Estonia and Henrik Boas is the service judge and he's from Denmark. partnership with the two Thailand players been a little bit on the back burner because uh, Sapsari Tanachai is using most of her focus on her mixed doubles and she's actually a very very good all-rounder Tarat Tanachai she won the Youth Olympics in the women's Ladies singles in 2010 right, in Singapore and obviously really good in women's doubles and the mixed doubles as well. And on my left, Thailand, represented by Neto Ratanachai and Putita Supachirakul. Thailand to serve, Sapsireta Ratanachai to Ripta Sukiarta. Lavo. Play. So love all play and pressure is on the two youngsters from Indonesia because if they're not winning this match the tie is over and Thailand would have won the overall match by 3-1. So the pressure is on. Good awareness from uh, Tarot Tanachai. The two Thailand players were very much the backbone of the team that got to the final in 2018 in Bangkok. Very experienced. defence Thailand but they're quite happily defending so far uh, good work from Sukiata at the back a good interception there from her again smash it took from uh, Tarek Tanachai who also played five matches in the Sudirman Cup campaign for Thailand. They got to the quarter-final where they lost to Korea 3-2 in a very very close and exciting match. 
but she played five matches in that Sudirma Cup campaign, so really one of the trusted soldiers, Sapsavi Taratanachai. But what a lovely return there from Rikka Sukiato. One definitely have to say they have a different playing style. Their, their compatriots, Rohayu and Polly, much, much more proactive and aggressive. But I'm sure that's got something to do with age as well. And it's been a good start for the two youngsters from Indonesia. 6-4 up. Good interception. Playing with a very positive mind. Possibly the longest rally of the match so far. and Subiata. That's better. Good interception from uh, Petita. the court to be mocked but this is really a very strong and promising start 
for Ramadan T and Sugiyato. So Wajira Kun and Tarek Tanachai seems to be a little bit on the back foot. Letting their younger opponents come to them the whole time rather than trying to dictate the pace and take initiative. And they're suffering the consequences, I think, being 6 9 down. Oh, that's confusion. And that's wide. Strong smash from Ramadanti. And that takes the Indonesian combination into the lead of the mid game interval with a lead of 11 7. Perhaps a little bit of a surprise on its way. 10 minutes of play. Pace is definitely much higher from the two Indonesians. Thailand is more or less standing by side, side by side and they're just defending here a little bit more initiative. is suffering from the fact that Tana Chan is simply not taking enough initiative. She's very happy to stand on her back foot, wait and see whatever is coming and not being that proactive at the moment. She's got excellent skills and really can do it. Level 11 all the first four points after the interval. 
on the Thailand way. But I must say I am very impressed by Brahma Danzi and Sugiyata. I think they play a really interesting women's doubles. Give that a few more years with experience, more training. They could be a force to be reckoned with at the highest level. Yeah. It was not a swing broken, it was a frame gun because the two rackets, they clashed in the center. white anyway. And that's white. So, a lead of two points has been dis uh, restored for Labadanti and Sugiato. Service four is caught, it's too high. That means that the shuttle is struck at about one meter and 15 centimeters at 115. 12, 13. Good defensive work, that's awesome work. Absolutely fantastic defensive work by the two Thailand players. Subajirakun on the floor. This one here. Still, Tarek Tanacha is getting it back on behalf of a partner. Excellent work here from the two Thailand players. That was quite a spectacular point. I brought a little bit of smiles to their faces. Thank you. 14 all.
that's a poor serve. Got away with it. Yeah, relentless attack. Yeah, they've got to keep it together, the two Indonesian players. 17-16 up, good serve. And they just keep going at it, 18-16. to the fifth and final match in the women's singles because I honestly think that Ramadanti and Sukihato look like they are on a mission here. and they thoroughly deserve it as I see it they have really played a proactive first game Thailand survived the first one 19-20 takes the opening game 21-19 in 22 minutes and as I said earlier I honestly think they deserved it played very nice proactive badminton Thank you. 
nanti di belakang nggak apa-apa kita angkat dulu aja dia mau mengarah ke orang yang mancing supaya dia bisa mancing nantai mancing kalau itu yang itu jadi yang itu oh yang jaga bola panjangnya aja pembukaan banyak yang ngobrol So we're ready to commence the second game. And it will be interesting to see whether the talk with the coach in the Tynan camp is resulting in a, in a more proactive playing style. Definitely, Chubatirakun is targeted in her defence. Withstood the pressure well in this one. And this time, Tarek Tanachar is stepping in in front of her partner lying on the floor. And that was well played. And she likes, of course, to play in front of the court from her mixed doubles. But that is something we need to see a lot more. Four needs to be marked. And Super Kun was uh, Losing her balance. Tanaja is really kept to the back of the court. I think it's a very strong signal. The two juniors or the two youngsters, I'm better say, is sending to their opponents. We are prepared to play until the end of the world. And three or four rallies more like this. Chances are that the Thailand combination will start taking a lot of chances and that will definitely work in the favour of Ramadanti and Sugiato.
that's Kako from Sugiato alerting her partner to leave it. Very nice call. Very proactive Sugiyato at the front of the court. for court. I service judge Henrik Boers of Denmark. Clever tactic. The lift from Tara Tanachai cross court was with a lot of pressure. And we saw Ramadanti, when she was doing her overhead situation, she was way out of balance and, of course, not able to cover the other side after that. Flick serve. Flat drive from Super uh, That was really well played and forced the lift going along on the back line. It's a healthy lead, 9-5, for the Thailand combination. Oh, 
Then the, came the change of pace suddenly from Shubhat Jirakun from the back and the interception from the front of Tarat Tanachai. But it took a long time in that rally before that change of pace came. Ten five. Good cross court smash. Ramadanti. believe I simply cannot believe how did she get that one back there's definitely a clear strategy to this from the two Young Indonesians, they want to tire out Tyrat Tanachai at the back of the court. And she's, uh, she's not making any move to move forward. Here it comes. Then she's quite happy standing at the back of the court. The tall Super Jiraku intercepted that one on the forehand side and managed to secure the point for Thailand. So it's 11 7 after 14 minutes. Again, after the interval, 11 7, Tana Tana Chai serving. Smash from uh, Subajira Kun from the back. And it's a very clever thing to play these block shots on Tarat Tanachai. It's definitely one of her weaker points in her game. She had a 
very, very bad knee injury in 2017, August 2017. Her race, ACL, everything in the knee went. And uh, ever since that time, she has not been so good to coming forward. Her defensive stance, quite far back. And when the block shots are coming, she's in trouble. understanding to the art of how to close down the net as and when Subodhirakun is throwing herself on the floor she can see the only shot she can play is a cross court from that situation and she's there to close it down straight away not waiting just a fraction of second a second she's moving straight away thank you Service forward is called. There is only one rule in the, in the serve today, and that is the height. And it's 115. So if there's a fault, it's because it's considered higher than 115. And that's the only reason why you can have a fault. She was lucky on that shot. Super Jirakun and then Tara Tanach had the same, also lucky, had a frame shot. another graze the finger and we have a, a medical timeout getting the doctor on to court And 
while Saps are eating that Tanachai's tender tip. The two Indonesian players are using the time to talk to their coach. And of course, trying to regroup a bit, they are 10 14 down. But nothing is impossible. That's again if you are adding on some plaster tape, whatever, to that sort of injury, then of course the feeling in your hand when you're holding the racket is completely changed. So, what they do is that they try to stop the bleeding and then wait, and then hopefully it will, and then tape or plaster is not needed. But it takes time. And uh, just one more dive, one more time on the floor. And it's all back again. 14-10. Tell it time to serving. Smash down the center of the court from Subatira Kun. Well left, and it looked like a decisive gap here in the second game in favour of the Thailand combination, which means that we are once again treated to a three-game match. Already had two tonight. The first two matches: first women singles, first women's doubles. The return of surf there from Sukiyato hitting the blue carpet, setting up an eight point gap. So it's called in on the sideline. 
have a challenge from Indonesia. And it's out. So correction is out, which means the point goes to Indonesia. So 12-18. still possible to catch up. But they cannot afford to give one single point away now. Oh, I think it's... Thailand challenge is called in. It's called in. Sukatira Kun challenged even almost before that shot landed, that shot landed on the floor. She must be very, very convinced it's out. And so it is. Two points away from bringing this match into a final game. 20 game point 12. So put your recruitment serving. The first two game points has been saved. Good serving from Ramadanti. in as in that's 15 20 now save the first three and they save another five. Not anymore. 21 15. In favour of Thailand. Super Chirakun and Tarek Tanachai. So it's all level. 21 15 in the second game. It's a wonderful block shot here from Subhajira Kun. Thank you. 
buka aja kalau kalian nggak enak kalau panjang kita buat langsung aja Analyzing the second game, I think uh, that uh, Amadanti and Sugiyanto have lost some pace in their movement. They are not as aggressive in the second game as they were in the first game. In the first game, they were here and there and everywhere in double quick time speed everywhere. But in the second game, it was like the pace was dropping and that sort of helped the Thailand combination quite a lot. But that's a beautiful shot from Ramadanti. Awesome. Very well played. Getting a good start. And Ramadan and Suryata really know how to do that. Three love up. And they're back. To their attacking style from the first game. Thailand is not really, really careful now. It's slipping through the fingers. Really haven't paid attention to the start of the third game. And they are suffering badly from it now. a good follow-up from Tenet Tenochai. Something we haven't seen a lot of in the beginning of this third game. And for the sixth day in a row, the stadium clock is not working anymore at 12 o'clock exactly. It's lights out. And I've been six days in a row here until around one o'clock. And every day at 12 o'clock, lights out in the clock.
Yeah. All out attack. All out attack from Ramadanti and Sugiata. And to the delight of their teammates behind the court. short, landing short of the service line. And the body language of uh, Tanachai, if you look at it from a Thailand perspective, probably not the best on here. She made amends. Good placement from Ramadanti towards the right hip, the forehand side of Sukhothira Kun. Setting up a six point gap, 10 4 up. out. Good fighting spirit from the two Thailand players. Managed to stay in the rally. into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-5 and a change of ends. It's 
so this match have passed the one hour mark, one hour and three minutes, and it's 11.5. And one dancey to serve to take that tenor child. Double, double hit. So we're going to see a comeback here after being down 11-5, first two points going to Tyler. So it's called out on the back line. We have a challenge from Indonesia. From where I'm sitting, it actually looks out, but let's see. Yes, it's definitely out. Well left. Well left by Sugodilukun, with spacious awareness. And the last four points. It's gone to Thailand. Indonesia managed to get onto the scoreboard. 12-9 after the interval. And this could be really, really important. Those two points restoring a little bit of faith and belief. 39. Good to set defensive work from Ramadanti. Yeah, nice block shot. I would though have liked it to be slightly shorter. But it was enough.
final finish. 14 10. Fighting skills from Teira Tanachai, all in vain. The attack, the onslaught is relentless. And it's a little bit back to what happened in the opening game. Ramadan Tiyatsudyanto is really working very hard to keep their opponents under pressure. Attacking and playing as fast as they can at any given time. Created a five point gap here, 15 10 up. problem for the Thailand pair is that even though they play good counter-attacking shots like this, there is no follow-up. The problem here, look at that, that finally, finally there is a follow-up. They've been playing so many nice counter-attacking shots, passing their, uh, the, their opponent's front-court player, but there is no follow-up. Finally, we saw here Subotiroko moving forward and making the cure. the gap to three points. So what you reckon serving? like a very, very decisive move here from Ramadanti and Sukiato. 18-12 up. And this one was a bit of a wild one. Away. 
to secure that this overall tie is 2 all, And that means we will have the final third women's singles to be played as well. Because when we're out of the group stages, as soon as one team get to three, then the match is over, but we will most likely be treated to the third women's singles as match number five. 14-19. Superdira can really have to serve well now. Could be that the two youngsters will get nervous. And then you never know what happens. Flick surf. And that's a good block shot, setting up five match points in favour of Indonesia. Wonderful block shot from Sugiato at the front of the court. Quickly going to change the shuttle. Ready to play. And this is after one hour and fifteen minutes of play. And Indonesia is doing it, which means that we will be treated to a fifth and final match, the third women's singles. which means that Ramadanti and Sugiata win 21-19, 15-21, Now look at the happy faces. And here we got the confirmation in an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, great support from their teammates at the back of the court. And as the players are leaving. Here we got the match point. Sapsuri Taratanacha is missing the last one goes into the net and look at the celebration. The tie between Thailand and Indonesia is now 2 all. And the last women's singles coming up is Esther Nurumi Triwa Doyo against Piti Taya Pitu Thai upon Chai Wan of Thailand. I will apologise for that. I will get it better next time.
and welcome back to Sirius Arena here in Aarhus. We are having a very, very interesting and exciting match on court number two between Thailand and Indonesia in the Uber Cup. It's wonderful pictures. 